the red subscribe button right under the video and also the bell icon to get notification on any of our latest updates on our videos. Hello everyone, welcome to Smart Bucard video tutorial on the cost probability. Here is our question today. The probability that a marksman hits a target at any time is 1 over 3. Suppose he fires at the target 7 times. What is the probability that he hits the target exactly 3 times? So this is a binomial distribution probability. So let me quickly walk you through binomial distribution probability. So we have P in binomial distribution which is the success. Success of an individual trial. Success. Success of individual trial. So we have Q. Q is the failure. So we can get uh, from success we can get failure which is 1 minus success which is the failure of individual trial. So we have N. We have N also. N is the total number of times. The total number of sample space and X is the, uh, the number of events. This one is the sample space and this one is the number of events. So this is a binomial distribution and it has a formula which says that probability of x equal to x is equal to combination n combination x. It's also written as this n combination x success raised to power of x multiplied by failure raised to power of n minus x. So this is quite simple, but it might be very tricky. If you are given that, uh, find the probability of exactly three times. Here you can see in our question, we are told that exactly three times. So X will be, so X, this big X will be equal to three. I'm talking about here, our small X, the probability here will be X is equal to three. So if you are told that at least three times, X will be greater than or equal to three because it is at least three times. If you are told that at most three times x will be less than or equal to three so it depends on what you have been given from the question so in this our question we are told that he hits the target exactly one over three times so our p that is the success p is equal to one over three you'll be given from the question so once we have the success you can find the failure so our failure now will be equal to we will have Q is equal to 1 minus 1 over 3. So here we can quickly find the LCM and get our Q. So finding the LCM, Q is equal to 3 minus 1 and this is 2 over 3. So this is the number of failure. So we are given 7 times that he hit the target. The total number of sample space is 7 times. So our N is 7. And we are told that we should find the probability of exactly 3 times. So now we are having N is equal to 7. Our, our X is equal to so these are our parameters we can quickly find the probability don't forget this condition you might you'll be given in a uh, different question so maybe you might not understand it now but i i recommend you to watch our next video and more of our videos you are going to see we are solving question on on at least at most so now we are having exactly three times so our p of x is now equal to three exactly three times we are having seven combination three this is how it's been written. We are having our success is 1 over 3 raised to the power of x. Our x is 3. And we are having our failure to be 2 over 3 raised to the power of 7 minus 3. n minus x. And 7 minus 3 is 4. So I can quickly write 4. So now, further simplifying this, I won't waste much of our time. So further simplifying this, now we are having p of x is equal to 3. Is equal to if you press 7 combination 3 you know i taught you how to do combination in our last class so you should do this very uh, very fast so 7 combination 3 if you should press it on your calculator you are going to have 35 multiplied by 1 all over 3 raised to the power of 3 is 9 so multiply by you are going to have 2, uh, 2 raised to the power of 4 is 16 3 raised to the power of 4 is 81 so when you multiply this all together if you multiply the numerator you are going to have 560 all over 729 and this is equal to 0 0.76817 so this is the probability of exactly three of, of him hitting the target exactly three times you are having 0 0.768 so this is our final answer i hope you enjoyed this video i hope you understand what i've just explained to you 
uh don't forget to subscribe to our youtube channel if you like this video you can quickly like it uh we'll meet in our next class where i'll be solving a more tricky question thank you very much for watching this video